Hey everyone, thanks a lot for stopping by to the Alcohol Free Life channel. My name is Terry G. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for stopping by. What I want to talk about today, I want to talk about what are the indicators that you may feel that you are progressing in your sobriety. I know for myself, I had a hell of a time identifying when I was getting better or how I was progressing one day at a time in my recovery program. There's a lot of videos out there and I talk about a lot of, in my videos a lot as how to get clean and sober. I talk a lot about that. There's tons of videos, but how do you know you're getting better? How do, what does it feel like? And in this video, I'm gonna talk about a few things that happened to me in my early sobriety and long-term sobriety that I knew I was getting the program. I knew I was feeling better. The first one I wanna talk about are the pros and cons about sobriety. When I came into the program of recovery, I was pretty messed up. I had a lot of feelings, a lot of anger. I was sad, I was feeling depressed. I had a lot of issues I had to uh, address. There was a lot of things going on. And at the beginning, I said, geez, I'm never going to have a peaceful life or I'm never gonna be able to stay sober. But you know, after a while in the program, like we're talking about six weeks, two months, I woke up one day and I felt clean and sober. And I felt, said to myself, despite all my issues that I have in my life right now, being in the program is much better. So eventually, the positives about being sober came out. And it came out relatively quickly. It's not that my problems were eliminated. I just felt I could tackle them as long as I stayed in the program and did the do things, I thought that, you know, yeah, life is pretty screwed up right now, but eventually it's going to get a hell of a lot better. So that was one of the things I felt and I thought about in early sobriety. Another one is, is going to meetings. You know, a guy used to come up to me and say, you know, Terry G, going to meetings, keep going till you wanna go. And it's kind of like that. I don't know why you started to go to meetings. I don't know why you, started your journey of sobriety but you know a lot of us come into the program for very many many different reasons mine was that some girl told me to go to the program and told me i was an alcoholic you know it wasn't a big lightning bolt hit me that's basically all it was so but i went to meetings grudgingly and i kept going and eventually i felt hey i want to go to these meetings i felt good in these meetings i had friends in these meetings I could talk about my stuff in these meetings and it wasn't uh, you know, a walk on coals to go to a meeting. It wasn't torture for me to go to meetings. I wasn't forced to go and I wasn't forcing myself to go. So that's one of the things, man, oh man, the black flies are bad today. That's one of the big things that happened to me in early sobriety. Another one is, is I wasn't so afraid of things and mainly the future. I start feeling positive about the future and having a better outlook about my life when it came to my sobriety. You know, all I could focus on in the beginning was a lot of negative stuff like in the past, you know, stuff I did in the past. But eventually I started to feel hopeful. As long as I stayed in the program and was clean and sober, I knew I had a great chance to have a better future. And that was one of the biggest things I felt in sobriety, that I can do this and life is going to get better. It's not better right now, but in the future I can have a job and maybe have a wife and get a car or get a better education or you know, fix my health, fix my teeth, whatever it was. Just feel positive about my future and less afraid and not hanging on to that past and just moving forward. So my level of fear dropped dramatically because when I first came into the program, I was paranoid. I was afraid of everything. You know, my, my ex-wife was a cop caller. There was a lot of difficulties going on. I was very, very afraid. My life wasn't so full of conflict. The longer I stayed in the program, and this took, a, you know, maybe up to eight months, a year, life started to smooth out. And one of the main reasons was because I had sobriety and I was sober. And I was the one causing a lot of conflict in my life. Man, oh man, the black flies are terrible. 
I was causing a lot of conflict in my life. My life was like bumper cars. I was always running into somebody. I was always causing difficulties with people's lives. There was a lot of issues going on. And you know something? I caused a lot of problems in my life in early sobriety. So as time went on, all that stuff sort of smoothed out and life got a lot better. So I wasn't so inclined to get involved in conflict. I wasn't so, you know, hanging around people that made me feel bad or they're, you know, in conflict with other people. I don't like to say it like that, but it was kind of true. I was always pissing people off and always getting mad and, and stuff like that at people. So life wasn't so full of conflict as time went on. And that's, that's a huge one for me because I was a fighter all the time. I would question everything. I would piss people off intentionally, believe it or not. And I realized to myself, I realized that I was the one causing most of the difficulties in my life. I had issues, don't, don't get me wrong, I, I need a lot of help. But me, I was always sticking my head out and causing difficulties. So as life went on, things started to smooth out for me. I started to learn boundaries. I started to keep my mouth shut. I started to stop making such a big deal when people hurt me or I felt threatened. So that was a really, really good one. Less conflict in my life. Another one is, and this is really one to be grateful for. People who know me, okay, I'm talking friends and family who knew me when I drank and drugged and made a mess of my life. And I'd be going to a, like a family event or something or I'd see one of my friends and they would just say to me, Terry, you're doing really, really great. An unprovoked compliment or a word of praise to what you're doing by friends or family. And I'm not talking about people at the McDonald's or on the bus, people you don't know. I'm talking about people who knew you or knew me when I drank a lot. Just an unprovoked compliment. That's a big indicator that you will know that you're working the program. You will know that your sobriety is on the right track. And these things that I'm telling you in this video are just my experiences that I felt along my journey in my sobriety. My sister actually came up to me and told me one time, Terry, you're the best you've ever been in your life. And that's, that's a true story. And you know, I never let that go by. I held on to it and I said, you know, Terry, you are doing okay. And I still was in a, a bundle of trouble when it came to my emotions and my, the way I thought. I was still going to therapy. I was still doing a lot of things, but People walk up to me and tell me things like that unprovoked and that's what made it really nice that I didn't have to ask them, they just said it. And the last one and the granddaddy of them all, and I left this one for last, is that you are clean and sober. Yes, you have managed to stay clean and sober and have sobriety for many days or months or years. That is the granddaddy of all of it. If we remain sober one day at a time we are working the program it may not feel like it and that's one thing i want to tell you you may say to yourself gee there's a lot of negativity in my life my life is still not cleaned up i have a lot of problems my ex-wife's on my case i have criminal charges i bankrupt i'm just starting a menial little job i have this tiny little job things like that may still be happening in your sobriety but if you can string together a number of days, a number of weeks, a number of months, you are working the program. It's spiritual progress, not perfection. We need to understand that sobriety takes time. The road in recovery is always under construction and sometimes it's very bumpy at times. But being clean and sober is the key is the key and I want to point out it may not look or feel like you are sober but that is the wreckage of the past dealing with life without booze and drugs can be very difficult and that's what you're experiencing but if you are not drinking you are winning at the game of sobriety so keep it up keep moving forward and I know to yourself I know 
for myself, these are little indicators, but you could add to the list dramatically. We all have indicators in our lives that say we are doing great in our sobriety. How about you? Can you add to this list? I know I can. I can go on probably for another half an hour about things that happened to me in my sobriety, in my journey of a sobriety that told me I was getting better. Told me, said to me, Terry G, you are doing great. There's tons and tons of them. We could add to the list and on and on and on, okay? So be grateful for your sobriety. Look for the little things in your life, in your journey, in your daily journey that say to you that you're on the right track. Don't always stay in the negative. Look around, be grateful, try and be happy with your life. And remember, no one can ask any more of you than what you're doing right now today. You're doing the best you can for what you have to work with, okay? And then that's another thing I had I dealt with. I'm doing the best I can for what I have to work with even up to this day, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. I wanna thank you very much for stopping by. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and can you leave a comment? And thanks again. Ciao for now. God bless, stay sober, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. So, thank you for stopping by. And you know something? These black flies are crazy today. Ciao for now. Bye. Over and out. Thank you.